So all the while, women knew this and still held us responsible for the mistakes they did. Oh Lord, why didn't you send one of your angels? If you had sent one of your angels, he would have saved us men from all these useless broken hearts. There is this woman trending on social media. She's been trending not because she has won any award for her country or something. She is trending because she did a video talking about the things men do wrong when it comes to women. And it seems like after the video dropped, her fellow woman wasn't fucking with it. It seems like this girl, <laughs> this girl has told the truth. The woman or, the, or these women like to hide from us men. If I knew there was a woman on this earth that would correct me or guide me through the process of, of relationship, for me to know what is right and what is wrong when I come across one, I would have consulted her. The video that made her train was a video. She was talking about the things or the mistakes guys do or make when it comes to women. And to be frank, I'm very happy this video is coming from a woman because if it should have come from a man, most of the ladies would be saying he's hating. He, he's doing this because his heart was broken or because he can't find a girl. But so I'm happy it comes from a woman. In this video, she says she named a couple of mistakes men do when it comes to women. She said, don't ever let her talk to you anyhow. As a man, you must let her know how she must talk to you or she should talk to you. Don't let her allow, don't allow her to talk to you anyhow as if you are a child. And she said, don't buy her everything she wants because once you are not able to do it, she will be like, you are broke. Like how, why all of a sudden you can't do it because you've been doing that, you've been doing that for nine years. Other thing she said was don't allow her go out by heart. Like do, don't allow her do whatever she wants because once you are a once you are in a relationship, you are not deciding on your own anymore. Before you make a decision, you gotta think about your partner, which means you must include him or her in your decision. I fuck with this point. And the other thing she said was don't allow her to play victim anytime she crosses you. Like there are women, the funny thing about women is like a woman can offend you and when you as a man are mad or angry because she offended you she becomes also she also becomes angry at you for you being angry she offended you let this make sense you follow me how can you fuck me over and i'm mad because you fucked me over instead of you saying sorry or apologizing you are angry at me that i'm angry that you fucked me over let it make sense don't let her play the victim card if she does something wrong let her know Oba, you have done something wrong you did something wrong you did this and that i didn't like so that she will own it and apologize before we go further watch it by yourself today i'm gonna give you five things where men go wrong yet when it comes to women number one is letting her play the victim now a lot of men are always apologizing to their woman over stuff that they've done nothing wrong on if your woman cannot own up to her mistakes then that's not the type of woman that you need to be with you should not be the one apologizing for everything especially when you've done nothing wrong number two is letting her play you like you're stupid now you have a nice head on your shoulders let's use it don't let her play with your intelligence no, scratch that. Don't even stick around to be with the woman that's going to play with your intelligence. Number three is letting her do what she wants when she wants. Now, when you let a woman start doing what she wants whenever she wants, she's going to do that. And the minute that you try and be like, hey, I really don't want you to do that, she's going to make you seem like you're the bad guy because it's like, you let me do it all before. Why are you trying to control me now? It's not about control. It's about respect. Once you get into a relationship, your decisions are not your own anymore. Number four is letting her talk to you any kind of way. Now, you get enough of that at your job and not in these streets. You do not need to take that from your woman. It's either she's going to learn how to talk to you or she's going to have to learn how to live without you. Number five is giving her everything that she wants. I say this because once you start spoiling your woman, she gets used to that. I'm not saying don't spoil her at all. Just don't make it an everyday thing because there may come a time where you can't spoil her and that's going to be weird to her because it's like you did it all before. Why you can't do it now? And that may cause problems depending on what type of woman you have. What do we men learn from this? She said, like, bro, it's nice to spoil your girlfriend, bro. But you must do it occasional. Like, you, she must earn it. Because these girls nowadays, when you do it 24 7, once you don't do it, they will be like, what's up? You've been doing this for 10 fucking months. On the 11th month, you can't do it anymore. Why? And they will be mad because out of 
10 months on the 11th month you wasn't able to give her a gift or a present on valentine's day we gotta show them there is levels to this shit they should earn it they should deserve it not just because yeah you can show them love but let them know shit ain't for free they shouldn't take things for granted because back somewhere someone been working hard to get their position but still shit don't work man Write your opinion in the comment box. If you are new on my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. We don't sugarcoat over here. I go by the name Pimeka. I'm out.